все. Эх, запащусь. Куда? Совсем. Простите меня, грешного. Welcome back, everybody, to Orthodox Review, the most uneducated educational program on the internet. I am your host, the guy with one and a half thumbs. And today's episode is going to be something a little special, a little different, and a little exciting for our 100th episode. My first film review. Ugh. Cringe intensifies. No, um, I'd, I'd kind of wanted to get into something like this for a little while, and... Uh, the, the right piece didn't really present itself until I came upon the video we're going to review at uh, a, a in brief today. Uh, this is the Neophyte's Errors, which is what's well, a good way to put it. It's kind of catechetical. It's it's almost like a children's film, but not. Uh, there are these vignettes, and we're going to get into them about uh, about a postulant at a monastery who uh, there are videos where um, this character is is a novice and it's about the lessons he learns there well in this case it's about the lessons he learns as a postulant in particular during Great Lent everything from overzealous prayer to, to weird fasting habits uh, learning the how to truly forgive and uh, and in general just good behavior uh, there's a bit of comedy, there's some great sound effects, and some marvelous acting. And uh, this can be yours uh, through St. Elizabeth's Convent, which uh, there will be, of course, a link below um, for that. And it's uh, the download is only $5, so it's dumb cheap. But with that out of the way, um, and before we get into it proper, uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, we do have Patreon and PayPal. If you'd like to help support this show, and uh, of course, thank you so very much to my PayPal supporters for making this show possible. Uh, if you'd like to be a part of the magic, uh, click the links below and prayerfully consider uh, supporting our work here. So, without further ado, bam! Что он там читает? То ли дело в келье. Да, в келье-то оно, а? И считается все легко, и молитва льется, и сна не... So as you can see here, our protagonist gets himself into all sorts of little predicaments by, <clears throat> like, over-reading the fathers, <laughs> as some of us tend to do during the Lenten season. And one of the, one of the greatest benefits... Uh, to watching this series, I think, is really bringing us back down to, to base level in that we, especially the young Orthodox, and uh, and as is the case with this character, he's newly illumined, he's got this zeal for the faith, and so even though his father confessor tells him, all you need is a prayer book and a gospel, that's it, that's all you need for Lent, and, and he, like so many of us, goes out of his way to say, no, that's not enough. And <laughs> and in the case with this clip here, it's he's he's fallen into this delusion that he uh, he can just hang out in his cell and say prayers and be an ascetic. And as we find out later in this particular episode, um, he starts to see things, and things, as always, are not quite what they appear, appear to be. And uh, glory to God, his his father confessor comes and saves him. <laughs> and renders to him a very valuable lesson. Uh, so let's take a look at another clip. And as you can see in that clip, the production quality is not too shabby. Um, it's worth noting that uh, this is the studio of St. John the Warrior, which is uh, the studio arm of St. Elizabeth Convent. So, you know, on, on what little budget they have, they, they, they really do quite well for themselves. And, uh, of course, the acting is quite believable. Um, Belarus has some good actors, so there you go. Uh, and, of course, there you saw 
his spiritual father come to his uh, his aid and of course in the rest of the clip he admonishes him for all the mistakes he's made and says well you know you're gonna have to return all these books to the library here's your prayer book here's your uh here's your gospel and after confession you're gonna go live uh, in a communal cell with uh, these other monks and these other monks well not other monks other postulants play a play varying degrees of important roles uh, throughout the series. There's one in particular that is kind of his foil, but is, is really just a guy trying his best uh, and, and doing what we all can do. Uh, in the next clip, and this will be the final clip that, that we show, a um, very important uh, clip about uh, the nature of confession and, uh, and how, we, uh, how, 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 we, how, how it is that we should make a good confession. And this is one of those episodes that I find myself watching over and over again because it is such a simple and important message. So, clickety-clack, don't look back, we're going in for another look at the track. Now the reason for such a short clip is uh, that clip in particular really does embody all the different elements that you will find in this series where there's the serious nature, there's a little bit of comedy as, as is evidenced by, you know, the dinging sound and, and the womp womp sort of thing. Uh, and, and that's really what makes this, this series so endearing, to me at least. <clears throat> is that not only are the ideas expressed pretty straightforward and easy to understand, um, but it really, it, it has an innocence about it that a lot of people, myself included, um, find lacking in, in entertainment in general. And so to have a series that is both entertaining and enlightening, spiritually uh, fruitful, is, is a rare thing in this world. Um, that being said, uh, I, I, I dig it. I dig it completely. Um, I've watched this uh, film about a dozen times now um, and made many, many, many attempts at getting screenshots and, and learning how to <laughs> edit clips and whatnot. And so I'm still on a learning curve. So for episode 100, I think I'm doing okay. <laughs> at any rate, uh, you can find this film... Uh, on the catalog uh, St. Elizabeth website. Uh, the link will be in the description below. Um, the film is maybe an hour and it's just a few uh, few short episodes and um, and by the end of it you'll <laughs> you'll feel a lot better. Um, there's there's one episode in particular concerning his grandmother which uh, kind of spans between the two epi two episodes that I uh, when I was uh, when I was preparing clips, I I tried to pull up the clip where there's this uh, there's this quick phone call after that confession, um, and it's the most one of the most beautiful uh, 15 seconds of film I've seen in a long time. Uh, primarily because I I don't know about anyone else here, but I know a lot of people struggle with confession, so all right, let's not get down any rabbit holes here, folks. Uh, we've got books to review. So there it is, my very first, maybe last, who knows, uh, video review. Um, and as we are uh, trudging headlong towards Great Lent, um, hopefully this, this will be a, a blessing for those of you that decide to purchase. Like I said, it's only $5. Um, and uh, they, are, they are dynamite when it comes to customer service. So if you have any issues with the download, they'll, they'll take care of you. So go check them out, uh, support their ministries, and enjoy some lighthearted, wholesome Orthodox Christian entertainment that is both uh, enlightening, engaging, and uh, marvelously entertaining. So on behalf of Spooky Cat and myself, thank you so much for tuning into the show. Uh, as always, on behalf of Spooky Cat and myself, don't forget to go to church, say your prayers, and remember God. God bless.